Hi, Pizza Pups, it's Miss Erin here, and guess what? It's circle time, and we're gonna do a zoo circle time today. Do some singing and reading about some zoo animals today. Before we begin, can we sing the good morning song together just like we would if we were at school? All right, let's do that. Get your hands ready, get your voices ready, la la la. Okay, ready? Good morning, good morning. It's a good, 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 good morning. We say hello and how do you do to all our friends and teachers too. Good morning, good morning. It's a good, 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 good morning. Good morning, Pizza Pups. I have a song for you today that I don't know if you remember it or not, but you can learn it today. One elephant went out to play upon a spider's web one day. He had such enormous fun that he called for another elephant to come. So how many are there now he called for a friend? One, two elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Oh, there's another elephant. So now we have one, two, three elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. And there's how many now? One, two, three, four elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. And there's how many now? One, two, three, four, five elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that the web went creak and the web went crack and all of the elephants went curse splat. Oh no, they were too big for that spider web, weren't they? Elephants shouldn't be playing on a spider web. That was a silly song. Let's take a look behind me. Do you see behind me over here? We have zoo animals. I made a little zoo with our reading area pillow. Look at that, I made a little zoo. Let's see who's in the zoo, ready? The eagle's in the zoo, the tiger is in the zoo, the fox and the lion are living at the zoo, the camel is at the zoo, the elephant is at the zoo, the giraffe and the bear are living at the zoo, the, the gorilla is at the zoo, the rhino's at the zoo, the hippo and the zebra are all living at the zoo. The animals are at the zoo. The animals are at the zoo. The animals are living, are living at the zoo. How many animals do I have here in my zoo? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 animals. Good counting, Pizza Pups. 12 animals in the zoo. What animals do you like to look at when you go to the zoo? Do you have a favorite? Do you like to look at the giraffes? Do you like to look at the enormous elephants, the silly monkeys, maybe the crocodiles or the snakes? There are a lot of animals to look at the zoo. What's your favorite? Yell it out if you'd like. Yeah, there's lots of animals to see at the zoo. We're going to read a story about going to the zoo and it's called Never Ever Shout in the Zoo. Move a little closer so you guys can see. Never Ever Shout in the Zoo. Never Ever Shout in the Zoo because if you do, anything might happen. And don't say, I didn't warn you. If you shout in the zoo, you might scare a bear, a giant bear, a giant grouchy bear, a giant grouchy grizzly bear that weighs 2,023 pounds. That is a very big bear. And if you scare that bear, 
he might just charge, a large charge, a large barge of a charge, right through the bars of his cage. Uh-oh, don't say I didn't warn you. And if that bear gets loose, he might charge past a moose, a big moose, a big bull moose, a big bull moose with a bad attitude. And if that moose sees a bear running loose, he might get an idea, a dreadful idea, a dreadful, disastrous idea that he should be free like the bear. Uh-oh, don't say I didn't warn you. And if that moose escapes, he might not, he might trot by the apes, all those apes, all those clever apes, all those clever conniving apes that love to play practical jokes. And if those apes should happen to spy the moose and the bear as they clatter by, they might come up with a plan, a malicious plan, a malicious, mischievous plan to break out up like the moose and the bear and set the animals loose everywhere. Uh-oh, don't say I didn't warn you. And if those apes could do as they please, they'd probably steal the zookeeper's keys. They'd let out the hippos, they'd unleash the lions, they'd set free the tigers and the kangaroos and the snakes and the flamingos and the crocodiles and every single beast in the zoo. Uh-oh, don't say I didn't warn you. All those creatures would scatter about, all because of a shout, one shout, one innocent little shout, one innocent little shout that started this whole mess. And all those animals running wild might lock up each man, woman, and child in the zoo, including you. I warned you, you can't say I didn't. And there you would be in a pen. And then what would you do to get out? You'd probably shout, but haven't I warned you? Never ever shout in a zoo because now she's disturbed the what? The dinosaurs. Uh-oh. Never shout in a zoo. It's true. You don't want to shout in the zoo. You might upset the animals, right? All right, let's get some wiggles out. Are you guys ready to play a moving game? Okay, everybody stand up and get ready and we're going to move around like some animals. Are you ready? Okay, let's see if we can <gasps> fly, fly like a parrot. Flap your wings and fly around the room like a parrot. Flap, flap. Nice flying. How about hopping like a frog? Hop, hop, hop. Also, this frog has his tongue sticking out. Maybe he's trying to catch a fly. Can you catch a fly like a frog? Yeah, hopping and catching flies. Nice job, pups. Climbing like a koala bear. Koala bears are very good climbers. They like to be up in the trees. Can you climb, climb, climb? Nice climbing. Get those wiggles out. Growling like a bear. Can you growl? Let me hear those growls. Growl. All right, nice growling, Pizza Pups. Those were pretty loud. Gallop. Can you gallop like a zebra? Gallop, gallop around the room. It's kind of like a skip and a run at the same time. Gallop, gallop, gallop. Nice galloping. Chomp like a crocodile. Chomp like a crocodile. Chomp, chomp. Crocodile chomp. Yes. Roar like a lion. Can you roar like a lion? Make them loud because lions roar very loud roar like a lion. How about swinging like a monkey? Swinging in a tree. Hey, are you teasing Mr. Alligator? Can't catch me. Yep. Let's slither like a snake. We have to get on the floor and slither across the floor like a snake. Slithering. Good slithering, Pete's Pups. Balancing. Balance like a flamingo on one foot. Look at that. See how he's got one foot up in the air? It's hard to do, but flamingos are really good at balancing, and you guys can practice and be good at balancing too. Balance like a flamingo. 
stomping like an elephant. Stomp, stomp, elephant, stomp. They're so heavy, but when they walk around, they stomp. That's right, good stomping. And the last one we're gonna do is stretching like a giraffe. Stretch, giraffes are really tall. So if we stretch really high, cause giraffes have to reach the leaves, they like the leaves in the trees, stretch, stretch. And grab those leaves just like a giraffe. Stretch like a giraffe. Good stretching. All right, do you have all of your wiggles out now that we moved around like some zoo animals? All right, we're gonna read another story. And this has some interesting animals in it. Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? All right, are you ready? Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? I see a red fox slipping by me. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. So flying squirrels are interesting because they have these flaps on the sides of their bodies. So when they spread their arms and legs out, they can glide from tree to tree. So they are called flying squirrels. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing near me. Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see blue heron flying by me. Blue heron's a bird, look at this bird. Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? I see a prairie dog digging by me. Prairie dog, prairie dog, what do you see? I see a striped skunk strutting by me. Oh, everybody plug your nose because skunks are really smelly. That's how they protect themselves. They smell so bad that sometimes other animals don't want to go near them and it can burn the animal's eyes because it smells so bad. That's how they stay out of danger. Striped skunk, striped skunk, what do you see? I see a mule deer running by me. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? I see a rattlesnake sliding by me. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? I see a screech owl hooting by me. Something interesting about rattlesnakes is at the end of their body, the end of their tail, they have a rattle. And then when they shake it, it makes a rattling noise and that warns you to move away because that means they're upset. And when rattlesnakes get upset, they could bite you. So when you hear the noise of the rattle, then you want to, then you know there's a rattlesnake there and you want to be not in that area anymore. So that's why it's called a rattlesnake because it actually has a rattle at the end of its tail. Isn't that interesting? Screech owl, screech owl, what do you see? I see a mama bear looking at me. Mama bear, mama bear, what do you see? I see a red fox, a flying squirrel, a mountain goat, a blue heron, a prairie dog, a striped skunk, a mule deer, a rattlesnake, a screech owl, and my baby bear looking at me. That's what I see. So those are some different animals that you might see at a zoo or maybe out in the forest somewhere or in different parts of the world. You might definitely see a bear at the zoo and a snake, probably not a skunk. We probably wouldn't see a skunk at the zoo, but sometimes you can see them in your neighborhood. So those are just some different animals to be on the lookout for when you go to the zoo or when you're going on adventures with your family. All right, I have one more song for you, also about elephants. Only this time, our silly elephants are going to take a bath. Are you ready? One elephant in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. He invited another friend. So how many are there now? One two elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. So we gotta add another friend. So how many are there now? 
one, two, three elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. Another friend is coming. One, two, three, four elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. One more friend. So how many are in the bathtub now? One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot of elephants in the bathtub. Five elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Psh, they all fell in. They all fell in. Now they fell off the spider web and broke it and then they fell into the bathtub because there were so many elephants in the bathtub. Isn't that silly? All right. Thanks Pizza Pups for coming to Circle Time today. I hope to see you guys soon. I miss you all. Bye.